Hi everybody, it's Diane here. I don't know how I'm going to title this, but I assume you know I'm making some sort of little collages with prompts. I don't do that too often. I haven't done it for a long time, but a viewer recently suggested that and gave me a couple options of other YouTube people who offer that. And I had seen this one video. It's by Carrie the Crafter. I'll link his info in my description area. Uh, it's a list of 100 free prompts he has on a blog he did as a subscriber thank you kind of thing for a milestone on his YouTube channel. And since I've been in a bit of a funk of not really knowing what to do, and I still don't really know what to do, <laughs> why not, right? So I did print it out and cut them out, and I put them in this thing. I don't know what this is for. Tell me what this is supposed to be for. Somebody gave me this as a gift. I don't know. It is now for prompts. And since I had all those cutoffs, if you watch the ATC video, I had a bunch of ATC size cutoffs and then a bunch of 3x5 size cutoffs, which that's an index card size. So let's just do one on that. So, you know, you can certainly do, use these prompts in any way you choose. Come on. But um, his suggestion and a lot of these prompt challenge things, you're supposed to use five prompts. Now, I'm not trying to criticize or, you know, anything, but I always find that's a lot to work with, especially if you're using a small, uh, you know, base. Especially, you know, because they're so unrelated. So I'm just going to pull two and we'll see how that goes. I'm not looking. That's why I'm fumbling around here. One, two. Okay. Newspaper and icon. Wow, she picked the two hardest ones right off the bat. <laughs> okay, well, newspaper I'm not too worried about. I do not have newspaper in my house, believe it or not, besides a couple sale papers. Um, but there are a lot of scrapbook papers that have, like, newsprint on them or... I'm fumbling around here in my stuff. Uh, I have washi tape that has like newsprint looks. I'm not too worried about that icon. Well, um, you want to flip through a magazine with me real quickly? Just a minute. Just pulled one at random. I'll look quick with you guys. Uh, then I'll go off and look by myself. I mean, to me, you know, like the Coca-Cola <laughs> words or Marilyn Monroe or something, to me, that's an icon, iconic. Hmm. <laughs> I will say uh, prompts. For me, any rate, I think I end up doing more hunting than if I just went, oh, that's cool, and just pulled it to use as a, you know, focal thing or whatever. But oh, <laughs> well, okay. There's the word. It's sort of funny, isn't it? I could just use that. Ooh, a lion. I should save that for my MGM altered book. I was putting lions on a page. And you don't come across them too often. But here's one. It's like a relief thing. It's kind of hard to see. Okay. You know, if there was a real iconic style of furniture in here, that would work. I don't see one, though. Well, all right. P. 
people. I think I'm going to have to pause. You don't want to watch me hunt around forever. I'm going to try to come up with iconic something, I think. And uh, look for a newspaper type uh, washi or scrapbook paper. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, I found some stuff. I glued it down. Who wants to watch that? So this table set is very iconic to me. This is scrapbook paper back here of newsprint. It is, and it was very sepia, and it did not match at all. That's all I could find. So I ran some gesso over it, so that helps quite a bit. Uh, it's all magazine otherwise. And I just took the zebras because of the colors, really. And then it just so happened. It, they fit really well and line up with this line. I like that. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of blank over here. You could put, definitely put something there. Um, just as an example. I don't have anything handy. If you had... That's, you know, doable. It is. But to me, it's starting to take away now. I think you want more of your eye to be down here. So anyway, I think I'm just going to sew, but this glue is wet, I can't sew. So we have to put this aside for now. So I thought, this doesn't take too long, let's do a second one in our, I don't know what it is thing here. Okay, I'm not looking. One. They're stuck together. Two. Okay sticker your least favorite color um my absolute least favorite color is probably uh mauve no offense to you mauve enthusiasts i'm not a real fan of green or slate blue yeah i was not happy in the 80s um okay let me pause again i'll finish this one off I know I just received some stickers for a planner that had that kind of a mauve rosy color. Let me look at those quick. Otherwise, I'll come up, I mean, it's a sticker and it's mauve besides, but otherwise I'll come up with some other stuff for a second one and come back. Hang on. Okay, this one's done. I did zigzag and messy. If you wanted to, I would allow a little stamping I think that would be fine a little line a little washy but I don't know I'm gonna leave it okay so that was remember icon and what <laughs> News newspaper <laughs> she almost failed that quiz uh, in my defense this is uh, six hours later okay <laughs> Anyway, so we're on to sticker and your least favorite color. I did find um, most of those mauve colors was more like a terracotta that I was remembering wrong. But there is a line here that's mauve, these stars. So maybe we'll use that. And then that's both prompts, sticker and mauve. And so I pulled um, a cattle, old catalog. I just thought, I don't know, maybe there'd be like a pinky or something outfit we could go with that color and I came across this before I turned the camera on <laughs> sorry for all the cuts there but um you know maybe we could do something with that I don't know here let's cut the whole thing And personally, I think those are really cute. I would wear those. Of course, I'd probably look like I was wearing my daughter's boots, but <laughs> that's okay. Do we want, I'm gonna hold it up to the light. Is that, and include this. That's nice too. Or do we want to eliminate that and just have the boots? That's a tough call. Let's eliminate. Um, I like it. 
normally I would say, yeah, let's just use that, include this. But since it looks okay the other way too, why not save this for something else? Or maybe we can add to it. Ooh, it also came in black. For those who enjoy the active life, that's me. Okay. Let's try to get the heel in on that. include a couple stars or I don't know a whole row but we also have mauve here if I wanted to choose a different sticker okay what about a flower in the corner there would that be something yeah I have no idea what I want to do with it now Wow, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Top picture here. I think so. might work. I won't fussy cut it right here. That's okay. Um, I think it almost blends in too well. You, you need, I need something lighter, something more contrasty with it. And then what about the top? Possibly a word. Well, there's white. Is that too contrasty? Let's try this one first. That's okay. That's okay too. I think this is a lot more interesting and warms it up. Okay, something like that. Don't forget the stars. Maybe a line, just, um, well, just as an example. Yeah, I would do something like that. Maybe even that. Let's look quick for a word. If I can't find one quickly, I'll just pause and finish this off by myself. I'll reiterate, I need some new words. Sparkle and style in spades. Okay. <laughs> not that they have sparkle. And I'm not putting on glitter. Don't say that. Oh, 
Okay, let's give this a quick trim. I'll do it better off on my own. But get rid of some of that white. So if we had something like this, <laughs> don't stick. And the stars. All right. All right, I'll fussy cut and glue off camera. Uh, it may be done when I come back, I don't know. But I will come back, hang on. Okay, I'm back, all done. I did jazz it up a little bit more. It was just too boring. I added the stitching all the way around, mainly because the washi tape ended. I should have let it run off, and I didn't. So that helps that. I did not stitch over the flowers. I added a little sparkly washi tape because of the sparkle reference. And then when I was off camera, I thought, Oh, maybe I should have saved that phrase for an altered playing card, you know, spades. So I thought, oh, well, add spades. So we did that. And those mauve stars. So remember, that was your least favorite color, which is mauve, and a sticker. So that's both. And then newspaper, which is scrap of paper back there that had a newsprint design on it. An icon, so we have the word icon right there. And keep in mind too, you know, you could use these as journaling cards, put them in your art journal, mail them. I highly recommend putting things like this in an envelope to mail them. Put them on greeting cards, larger collages. You know, you can do different things with them. So thank you to Carrie the Crafter. I have this now at the ready. And thank you to my viewer who suggested it in the first place. And thanks to you for watching. Have a good day out there, everyone.